1033. Let's break a little more, please. You could just say Sam, just to be clear. 1033? Mm -hmm. The sand is pushed from areas where the vibration is strongest and collects where it is the weakest, forming patterns that correspond to the particular tone that is applied to the plate. The higher the frequency applied, the more complex and detailed is the pattern that results. Under controlled conditions, these forms are repeatable. Water, whose fluid properties make it especially responsive to sound. Sound, understood as a force of creation, is a theme found in the traditions of many cultures. Oh, I just love that. Look at that. Amazing. And instead of putting a puff of air on it, I'm going to put a puff of water. This is going to have a lot more momentum in it than the air. Whoa, whoa. I was afraid. Oh, look at that. Cool. I squirted water through. Oh, isn't that cool? The water in the sphere f went around the air cavity and formed a huge bubble. Wow. Oh, that is so cool. Oh. I could be a human pendulum. This shows the lens lock. Motion is in the opposite direction and the image is inverted or upside down. And there I am, and I'm going to come up here with my eyeball. During construction, we see the steel girders, eight feet tall, which were supposed to stiffen the bridge against bending. However, some up and down vibration was observed during the entire useful life of the bridge. On November 7th, the bridge suddenly went into a twisting motion. The wind speed was a steady 42 miles per hour. This was enough to keep the bridge oscillating in one of its natural modes of vibration with a period of five seconds. It's remarkable that the girders were this flexible. This is photographed at normal speed. Here we go. 